This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Huawei MateBook D. Why did I get this laptop? Well, because I don't have a laptop. I used to have the Lenovo 920, a $1,400 laptop, which doesn't even feel as good, as premium as this $600 laptop. Well, I haven't even unboxed it yet, so I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but let's unbox this baby. The box itself is nice, nice enough for me to want to keep it. Inside of the box, there's the laptop. It comes in a white sleeve. I'm going to put that aside. Then underneath it, there's a charging cable, the adapter, and a manual. I already went ahead and took the laptop out of the sleeve, and boy, does this thing feel nice. It looks amazing, too. It's got a unibody metal design, and right when I picked it up, I knew this was a quality product. It felt premium. The MateBook D charges via a USB Type-C cable. I've never seen this, but both the sides of the cable were made out of the USB Type-C output. And the adapter and the cable, they have a minimalistic design, which I do appreciate. Let's turn on the laptop. There's the power button located on the top right side of the laptop. Sadly, there's no fingerprint sensor, but this comes in a really good price, so I don't care about that. But I can tell you this has a full HD 1080p touchscreen display, Dolby Atmos for speakers. This is a quad core laptop with eight gigabytes of RAM. It also comes with Ryzen 5 2500U and a Vega 8 for graphics. Plus, it has 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. Let's go back and talk about the screen. It's not a glare proof screen, it is reflective. The screen almost looks bezel-less in my eyes. It has very thin bezels, at least I can say that. There's the webcam located on the top. It's a one megapixel webcam with the Huawei logo on the bottom. Overall, I like the screen. I like the whole design of this laptop. It feels amazing on my hand. I love it. And I just can't wait to tell you guys about the specs and how this laptop runs on a daily basis on the next video. Until then, peace out.